What I want you to do is get up close to a mirror and stare at your own face. Now, look at your own left eye, then your right eye, then your left eye, and what you'll see is bizarre. You can never see your own eyes move. Your experience is that you are fixated on your left eye, and then you are suddenly fixated on your right eye, and then you are suddenly fixated on your left eye again, but you don't see any movement. And the deep, deep thing that I want to address today is that there's no gap in time. It seems like you're on one eye, and then you're immediately on the other. You can't see the gap in time at all. Now, how could this possibly be? It's for the same reason that you don't see the world scream past you when you move your eyes. All you see is your internal model. And just like your internal model constructs space for you, it constructs time for you also. And if it doesn't want to include something in there, like the gap in time, then you simply don't experience it. Now, as our story proceeds today, we're going to get a deeper understanding of why this is. But for now, let me just say that I've been publishing papers on time perception for my whole career in journals like Science and Nature and so on, because this is such a weird and underexplored field. The main thing I want to establish for now is that our sense of time, how much time passed and what happened when, is constructed by our brain. It's not an accurate barometer of what's happening out there. And for today's episode, the issue we're zooming in on is what happens when time disappears. 